Hello! It's time for another quick craft today and I'm going to be making some chocolate and it's going to be Easter themed because it's coming up in a few weeks. So here we've got our bunny mould for the chocolate. Along with the bunny I've also got a palette of lovely spring flowers and I've got a little basket. If I've got enough chocolate left over, bunny could be sitting in a little chocolate basket but we'll see at the end. I've picked up some different types of chocolate, you can get whatever you have to hand. Um, this is going to be for my bunny, I'm going to have a milk bunny, but you could have a white chocolate, dark chocolate, whatever you fancy. I've also got some white chocolate as well, because when I'm going to be doing the flowers, I'm going to be doing a couple of different colours. And to go inside my bunny, I've got some mini eggs up to you you can either leave it hollow you could have it as a solid bunny or you can fill it with some goodies inside as well completely up to you but you can also add some extract to your chocolate bunny if you want to i've got orange so i'm going to make a chocolate orange bunny and then i've also got a few bottles of food coloring i've got green i've got blue i've got yellow and i've got red they're going to be for my flowers, but I'll do that later on. So first of all, we're going to start with the bunny. So I've melted some chocolate, did it for about a minute and a half, just kept checking that it wasn't burning and it's lovely consistency. Now I'm just going to add in a few little drops of orange extract. You don't need a lot at all. And then we just mix that in. And now it's time to pop that into the mould. I'm just very carefully spooning the chocolate into each side of the bunny mould. Like I said earlier, you can either do this as a solid bunny or you can do it a little bit hollow. It's completely up to you. I've just got a little brush and all I'm going to do is just take the chocolate up around the sides so that it covers the entire mould. You can also tilt the mould to get it into all the little crevices and spaces. All I'm doing is making sure that a lot more of my chocolate is in the head and the eats so that the body is going to be a little bit more hollow to put in the mini eggs but also to make sure that all the sides have got a thick enough coat on the chocolate so that it doesn't break later on when coming out of the mold. Once you're happy with your bunny it's time to pop it in the fridge to let it set. So I've melted one 100 gram bar of white chocolate and I'm going to split that off into little pots so that I can add the food colouring in to make the flowers. So this one I'm going to use the yellow just like the extract that I used earlier for the flavouring you don't need too much of this to get a nice colour. So I'm just going to very carefully transfer a little bit of the yellow onto my paintbrush and dab a little bit into the centre of each flower. Because I've got still got a lot of chocolate, I'm going to add a tiny weeny little bit of the red colouring to the same one. Once again, tiniest amount of colour. So that's changing colour into a nice little pinky colour. So now, similar principle to last time, I'm going to pop a little bit of the pink chocolate into each of the moulds now. Um, using the brush again to go into the corners of the mould and to spread it out evenly so that all of the flour gets a little bit of chocolate.
I'm also going to do the same for the leaves. So I've got a little bit of green food colouring. Tiny weeny drop in there and mix in. If you find the chocolate's gone a little bit stiff to work with, you could always pop it back in the microwave just for a few more seconds so that it gets a little bit easier to work with. This seems okay. So I've got my brush. Little bit in each mould again. And then spread it with your brush. Working your way into all the corners. Time to pop these into the fridge with the bunny. Now I'm going to coat my basket. Same principle as what I did with the bunny earlier on. I've got my melted milk chocolate and I'm going to spoon it into each of the cases. It's better to do a few of them just in case when you're taking them out of the mould later on. Sometimes they can break a little bit. So I'll do two and then I've got a backup. I'm going to try and make these a little bit thicker than the bunny. Spoon enough of them in and then you can do the tilting method to get it all around the outside. You can also use the brush as well to get it into all the crevices and just do that until you're happy with the coating. Once you're happy with your basket, it's time to pop it in the fridge and check how the bunny's getting on. As you can see, the bunny is setting quite nicely. On the inside, I can see a few tiny weeny little bits where I might need to top up some chocolate. So while I've still got the melted chocolate in the pot, I'm just going to paint around the outside and go over the walls just to strengthen it a little bit before I remove it from the mould later on. So while still keeping it hollow, I've painted around the sides, made the head and the ears a little bit more solid. Um, we've still got the recess in the middle to pop a few eggs in later, hopefully. So now it's back into the fridge. You can do the same principle with the basket. It's only been in the fridge for about 15 minutes, but I can see around the edges there's a few little gaps. Might be where the chocolate has slipped down as it's been sticking to the sides. So I can take my trusty paintbrush and I can go over the sides just like I did with the rabbit. Okay, so I'll pop these in the freezer just to uh, chill them a little bit more and hopefully make it a little bit easier to get out of the mould. Should just have to gently tap the mould to remove the flowers. So let's give it a go. Well, there's two. There's one flower, there's the second, and then we've got a leaf and a flower as well. And there we have it, all safely out of the mould, and they look really nice. So after chilling in the fridge for a little bit, I pop the baskets in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes as well. So hopefully these should pop out just as well as the flowers. Let's see. Gently press and voila, a little basket. Finally, it's the moment of truth for the bunnies as well. Let's give these a go. Just going to tap gently and press on the centre. Oh, one is released. Ha oh, ha! Six. 
princess. Beautiful glossy bunny all on the outside and then on the inside we've still got our hollow. So now what we're going to do is flip them over, fill them with eggs, melt a little bit more chocolate so then we can seal around the edges and pop the bunny together. So melted last bit of my chocolate. I only need a little bit to go around the edges. I think in the centre of this bunny, about three or four eggs might go in quite nicely. Like so, just to test it. Pop the bunny lid on. They fit in quite well. Rattle. So now what we've got to do is seal the bunny up. So there we have it, he's standing up. I'm just going to go over his body with a paintbrush and the chocolate to make it look like fur. This then covers over the join line and makes it look a little bit more realistic. And there he is textured bunny with a little nose, making sure that he's got his tail as well. He's got a lovely sh smooth shiny face. And so there we have it. There's bunny in a basket with chocolate flowers filled with a few mini eggs. <laughs>